Good morning. <laughs> Welcome back to the vlog. It is currently Friday. Friday, everyone. Yay. No, it isn't. Is it Friday? Hey, Siri. What's the... What day is it? It's 10.39. No, what? Hey, Siri. Uh -huh. What's the day? Yes. No. What is the day? It's Thursday, the 30th of April, 2020. Thursday, not Friday. And um, today, as you've probably seen by the title, today I'm trying to do holograms. <laughs> Sorry, a little interlude while I'm meditating. I'm awful at dates and just <laughs> numbers in general. I think for three vlogs now, I've managed to get the date wrong. I don't, I don't know how. Like, it, it's I'm, what? <laughs> I do apologise if you ever get confused. It's probably me just being stupid. Uh, you know, I edit quite a lot of these, so sometimes the days just all roll into one. It's later. It's much later in the day. Hooray! Something's just exploding on my laptop. I need to stretch my legs, so I'm walking to the toilet. <laughs> I'm not homesick. I'm sick of home. That's weird. It's <laughs> so annoying. Like, my birthday is the 22nd of May. Actually, when is this coming out? It's coming out in two weeks. Hey, Siri, what will be the date in two weeks? It's Thursday, the 14th of May, 2020. Basically, the week before my birthday. Wow. Wow, that's going to be crazy. I want to vlog my birthday as well. I wonder if I'll make it all that way. Damn, that's crazy. So, after this, after this is done, hologram time. Let's do the video. Oh, I know it will give it a better effect. Um, the hologram yellow, orange, sorry. What are you? You're a fly. Ah. Leave me, leave me. Bada bing, bada boom. Thank you. My laptop sounds like a microwave. You can probably hear it. Right. Actually, let's get a base shot first. Da -da 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 -da. Awesome. <sighs> I just mentioned about how mental the sky has been today. And uh, like, the, the weather as well. Just been insane. Wow. I've tried the side parting in my hair and I'm not sure how I feel. I don't know, it's just because it's so long. Oh, I think I'm going to do another time lapse. But Jesus Christ, this sky. Insane. Anyway, I still haven't got a chance to do the hologram. I'm just wrapping up editing the cookie video. Going to be a late one tonight, boys. Oh boy. Look at that beast. Oh my god, this weather is insane. And I can't keep time lapsing because I've done so many today. Do you know what? I can load up my GoPro. I'm going to do that. Hang on one sec. Basically, I'm taking the clips now. I just got them on my laptop, so I'm going to load up After Effects. Uh, there we go, After Effects 2020. Awesome. As you can tell, we're a bit scrambled today. <laughs> I think I might have set myself too much to do today. I feel like that might have been a problem. Do you know what? You can lay on my bed. Ooh. This is insane. You ready? You ready? You ready for this? <sighs> Hello, it's a lot later and um, I lost a bandana. I decided to try and do it by myself rather than following the tutorial. I kind of had pieces of what I knew I wanted to do. I think I'm going to watch some other ways other people have done it. Yes, I'm happy with it for a first try. Would I use this in a film, like this quality of effect? Probably not. And uh, nevertheless, let me show you what I've done. As some of you may know, I am a massive fan of Adobe software. I'm not going to lie, I'm more of a Premiere Pro type of guy. I do delve into uh, After Effects um, when I need to, but it's not, I'm not really a visual effects guy. What, what basically what I'm trying to say is that if I can keep it in Premiere, I decide to keep it in Premiere. Yeah, no, it was quite, it's quite a nice challenge to kind of get my bearings. So, what I'd done here, I put a 3D camera tracker onto my pre post clip. Then I picked my point, but it'll give you loads of points to pick from. You pick, I picked it, I added a, a camera tracker. Oh, that really hurt actually. A 3D camera tracker and a no object. No object is just like, it's very hard to explain. It's like a 3D adjustment layer. I don't really know how to describe it. So then I'd use this no object, I would attach it to my different clips. So they would go in the same movement as that, if that makes sense. Actually, that makes no sense. So no object will track the movement. That movement, I'm attaching it to different objects on the composition, so they follow that movement. That's as simple as I could probably make it. If I was going to spend a couple more hours on this, I'd probably put a, more of a border around the 
film I used, so I used um, Strange Encounter. Positioned it in the way I wanted using 3D mapping. Made sure I flipped it so it's the other way around. Ups the temperature loads to give it the orange hue. I have this pre-composed circle clip I used uh, Venetian vines and polar uh, coordinates that gives it the way how I can make it into a circle and make it spin. So this is just a pre-composition I put into the main one. And then I added a, what is it called? Audio wavelength something. Audio waveform. A little Gaussian blur on it just to give it a blurred feeling. I put glow on all of it. It didn't really come off how I wanted. I'm not really too familiar with glow. It doesn't work the same as it does in Premiere Pro, so I need to work on that. For a first try, I'm quite happy with it. Without further ado, thank you for watching the video. I'll see you tomorrow. And I'm Max Roach. Good night.